Hey y'all, thank you so much for taking time. Come over and visit with me over on uh, Fritz's Cooking Again. I'm Fritz. And tonight for our Sunday night supper, we're gonna have some uh, bone-in pork chops, guys. And I've got them soaking in some buttermilk right now. And we're actually gonna utilize some of that, uh, that Hooters wing breading. Man, I love that stuff, guys. I've made so many great recipes with it. And to that, we're actually going to add just a little bit of this French, French's, uh, French fried onions, guys. We're gonna crush those up a little bit, add it to that uh, Hooters wing breading, and fry it up in some canola oil and uh, have a little, uh, uh, some turnip greens with it, some Allen seasoned turnip greens, and I've already got my, my potatoes over here boiling for some mashed taters. And uh, all right, guys, well, let me get uh, everything set up here, and I will get right back to you. Thanks so okay, much Okay, guys, watching. I wanna prep my pork chops first. I was watching the uh, American Test Kitchen uh, the other night on PBS. They got some really good stuff on there, guys. And the lady chef on there was saying, what she likes to do is actually score the meat. like so, and then come back and score it this way. Okay guys, let me uh, get the uh, other one prepped and uh, we'll get right back to you. Okay guys, we've got our Hooters wing breading and we've got our uh, French fried onions here. So let's go ahead and get them into the, into the pot here. And basically what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to crush these up real good. All right, guys, now we're going to introduce our hooters. Keep your mind out of the gutters, guys. <laughs> All right. Heck with that. Put a little lid on here. And there we go, we got our breading ready. All right, so what I've got here too, guys, is like I said, I was watching her on that show when she was actually saying to uh, cut the meat here a little bit and it makes it adhere better or something. And uh, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take and we're gonna dredge it into cornstarch here. All right, like so. And we're gonna dredge this side as well. And then we're gonna introduce it back into the buttermilk. All right, guys, let me get okay, set up. I ran after some of my blue gloves that I always use, and I'm completely out. So we're going to roll with it. Let's do a double dip. Back in there we go. guys looks like we've got our oil up the temp got a little piece of bread in there it's turned brown get that dude out go ahead and get our chop in there oh yeah guys check that out all right let's get get our other chop coated this is a smaller chop here Got to get to the store, guys. We're just about out of everything. Do a little double dip. All right, guys, let's get the other one on up in there. All right, y'all, let's let this puppy go for a minute. We'll get right back to you. All right, guys, take a peek at him, dude. Oh, yeah. Mona me. 
All right, guys. All right, guys. Our chops are looking great. Our potatoes are done. Let's go ahead and get them over here to the strainer. All right, guys. We got our potatoes pulled. Uh, drain the water off of them, and I like to mash them first. You know, I've already got a head start here, but with my old style masher here, before I even add any of my wet ingredients to it. So we'll mash them up real good. Simple, simple taters, but they taste good. And if you get a little chunk in there, that's all right. No biggie, but they'll be smooth when I get that one. All right, guys, let's introduce a little milk. Just a tad of butter. Get the mashes a little bit. It's fun, guys. I think that's what this is all supposed to be about. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and uh, make our gravy here. I've got some of the renderings off our pork chops here, and I'm going to introduce some of this Hooters batter mixed with that onion. Go ahead and make us some gravy. All right, guys, we're making some uh, milk gravy basically out of the renderings that we had uh, from our pork chops. And I introduced in the rest of what we had left over from our, our Hooters batter mixed with the French's onions. So it's starting to thicken up pretty good. So I'm trying to uh, beat out these clumps here. So uh, let me uh, stay after this and I'll get right back to you with some rich creamy All right, guys, gravy. we got her plated up, man. Got my plate here, a little uh, 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 bone-in pork chop with some Hooters batter and a little bit of that uh, French's onion on it. And that thing turned out good. And we got some uh, homemade mashed potatoes and uh, some milk gravy to go along with it. Got us some turnip greens with some uh, Frank's Red Hot on it. And, uh, you know, we went country style here, guys. All we got was some white bread and butter. But uh, got Mama over there plated up real good, too. And uh, we're getting ready to dig in here. All right, guys. All right, guys. Let me get let's try out some of this pork chop here. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Looks pretty moist. Mmm. -mm. That's down home right there, baby. Dip it a little bit of this milk gravy. Take it to the next level. Mmm. -mm. Now I'm here to tell you guys, try some of them turnips. Is that good, Mom? Delicious. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Mike, check it out. Ha <laughs> ha. Just a little dab will do you. Oh yeah. Dude, I ate this on some uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken Wings the other night. Next level, this. Try some of that. Oh my god. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my god. Guys, I'm gonna have to up. Guys, I, I want to thank you again for stopping by uh, Fritz's Cooking again. And like I always say, I appreciate uh, all the uh, kind words and fantastic comments and all all the positive uh, feedback and, and the fellowship. And uh, guys, I reckon I'm going to get after this, and uh, I reckon we'll see you all next Sunday. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Y'all take care now. Bye.